Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Bannerboard. So I've got a few examples in front of me that I've been working on and all I can say is this is a fantastic plugin. It allows you to customize um, a wall using maps and you can put text, images, your skin, your head and lots of other things on it. And as you can see over here, we have one that flickers every five seconds so it changes to a new slide. So the way to do this is by creating a map wall using the command forward slash bb create. This will give you two redstone blocks. You pop one in the bottom left hand corner and obviously one in the top right hand corner. That will fill your wall with maps and then it will turn to blue. There will be some text in the corner and if you go to the configuration file you'll be able to edit it and add as many things as you want. So uh, let's go through the examples really quickly. This is a background. On top of the background we have a uh, just purple or pink color that is slightly transparent. We then have some awesome text with a white outline, my username or whoever's looking at it and the skin of whoever's looking at it. Here we have a creeper face with uh, obviously s at the top, uh, the noise the creeper makes. And here we have uh, three different slides, each with a different color and each with different size text. So as you can see, very small on the green slide. On the blue slide it gets slightly bigger and on the gray slide it's huge. So there are so many different things you can do with this plugin. So let's hop right into the config file. Uh, make sure you've done this first and then we can start editing. So here we are in the banner board folder and as you can see there are three different files. We have the config file which is where all the magic happens. If we have a look, let's scroll up to the top, we can see um, the second one I made. It has all of the locations of the maps, of course, and then we have the configuration part. So this is the creeper one. I have set the height and the width. Um, I'm using a creeper PNG that I downloaded and popped in the image folder, which is here. Uh, we have these three images. So this is the one we are going to be testing with, space.png. So let's have a quick look at that, that looks lovely. Um, and then we have a fonts folder as well. So let's get started. If we scroll down to the bottom, we should be able to find the new one we created. As you can see, it has all of these different um, frames. So let's go ahead and add the image. So the way to do this is get rid of the color bit, put image hyphen SRC space the image name, which is space dot um, PNG. I've tried JPEGs, but they don't actually work, so um, always use PNG, I think that's the best. And that will work like that. We can go in, we can reload, and it should appear, BB reload. So as you can see, it has appeared. It's a bit laggy because I'm uh, obviously using a screen recorder now instead of fraps. So we are going to um, make it a bit bigger. So each one of these blocks is 128 pixels. So if I had a calculator, um, I would work it out. I'm going to do it roughly. It's probably going to be really bad. So let's say that is 1200 over the top. So yeah, reload that. So let's do hyphen width is going to be 1200. That's an estimate. And then the height is going to be, uh, let's have a look. What does the height look like? E 750. So um, yeah. You should probably do this in a better way rather than just guesstimating and that is still not correct. We need to go a bit bigger. So 950 and 1400 and hopefully it stretches. So the uh, the height's fine, it just needs to get a bit bigger. So 1600. There we go. So we have um, fully uh, completed the area of the, the maps. So now we can start adding more things. So let's add maybe a pink or green color over the top. So the way we do this is color hyphen color and then the RGB. So that's going to be 20 comma 220 comma 20. And then you can add an alpha channel which makes it transparent. So let's set that at 150. So there'll be a sort of a green, greeny color over the top. Let's show you that that actually works. There we go. So that's <laughs> extremely green. Looks like there's a, a slime over the top or something. And now let's add either my skin or my head. Uh, so let's go with head. Yes, we want to reload it. And the way we do this is in a similar fashion to the others. 
which is skin in capitals, like that, hyphen type, and the type is either head, 3D head, or skin. So we're going to go with 3D head, like that, and reload it, and there we go. So my, he my head is very small. In a similar way to the other one, we can add a width and a height, so let's quickly do that. Width is going to be, I don't know, 200, and the height is also going to be 200. Make sure you put those hyphens in or you will have problems. You can also add a, an offset. So for the X and the Y axis, uh, let's do that. X offset is going to be, say, 200. And the Y offset is going to be 400, like that. So if you do that, it will get bigger and it will go wherever you placed it on the map. We could obviously edit, edit this to change the location. So we could change 600 and... 500 and then when we reload it it should jump there we go so you can move it wherever you want and then you can place text wherever you want and let's do the text one now so uh, the way to do text is uh, pretty cool you can add someone's username so if we do text hyphen text and then we are going to say you username using a percentage sign name percentage sign are in space exclamation mark we can set a size so size 50 should be good and a font so good old Arial can't go wrong with that yeah it's spelled with an A I believe so Arial we can set a color as well which is good let's set uh, a blue color which is uh, let me have a think 20 150 100 200 and 25 I think that's sort of bluish color we can add a stroke which is obviously the lines around the edge so stroke color is going to be white, which is 255, 255, 255. And we can add a stroke thickness. I'm just going to copy this because it's a lot quicker. 24 maybe. And obviously you can set an offset for this as well, which is cool. Obviously you could set an offset for the image at the top here, but uh, you can just customize it however you want. So make sure you've saved it and reload it and hopefully it says you LT Gym are in space, which is really cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it a bit bigger, maybe 200. We are going to change the offset to uh, 200 and 500 and see what happens with this. So there we go. It's, it's way too big now, but uh, you can see it's very cool how you can edit this. I've been having a lot of fun making these. And we are going to change the X offset by 100 and the Y offset to 400 just to make it a bit, bit better. Hopefully it fits on now. There we go. So um, as you can see, there is so many different possibilities for this. You can just keep on adding them. And the final thing I want to show you is how to add a new slide. So we are just going to, uh, let's just use this. So at the top, if we scroll up to the top, we can set a slide delay. Uh, actually, let's just use this one. It'll be a lot easier. So this is seconds rather than ticks. Uh, so five seconds, you probably don't want to set it too low or it could cause issues. Five seconds is fine. We have uh, the first slide, which is uh, just one color. If we scroll down to the bottom and uh, just paste this in here and get rid of this, paste it below. So the slide below is just going to be a normal slide with color. So let's put a hyphen, next slide, like this, and obviously whatever you want on your next slide. Hyphen color, hyphen color, and 255, 255, 255. So this should work now. In five seconds, this should, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, there we go. So it goes white. And as you can see, the plugin works perfectly. So that is how you do that. You can also add permissions as well in a similar way. Um, so only people with permission can see it. It's sort of for, for your eyes only, which is one of my favorite Bond films. Um, so yeah, that is really cool. You just do hyphen permission and then uh, whatever you want. So that is most of the plugin. It is a premium plugin, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, yeah, 
I will leave a link to the wiki. I will leave a link to a color picker generator website which shows you all the RGBs of whatever color you want rather than just guesstimating, uh, which I've been doing. And I will leave a link obviously to this big page where you can purchase the plugin. So subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.